grime off their bodies every day when they come home from work. Aristotle thought that practical wisdom was the key to happiness, and he was right. There's now a lot of research being done in psychology on what makes people happy, and the two things that jump out in study after study, I know this will come as a shock to all of you, the two things that matter most to happiness are love and work. Love, managing successfully relations with the people who are close to you and with the communities of which you are a part. Work, engaging in activities that are meaningful and satisfying. If you have that, good close relations with other people, work that's meaningful uh, and fulfilling, you don't much need anything else. Well, to love well and to work well, you need wisdom. Rules and incentives don't tell you how to be a good friend, how to be a good parent, how to be a good spouse, or how to be a good doctor or a good lawyer or a good teacher. Rules and incentives are no substitutes for wisdom. Indeed, we argue, there is no substitute for wisdom. And so practical wisdom does not require acts, heroic acts,